Hello, 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 Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World. I want to welcome you back to my tutorial series. Now I've gotten message after message, post after post about commenting about my work with comparing Daz 4.2. 24 with Daz 2025 and you all particularly did not like the fact that I had my Daz Studio set up with the CPU and the GPU running. So if you remember I said to go to task manager and then under task manager go to performance and when you click on that you can run a diagnostic on how well your computer is working when you were rendering and in my video i was doing this and i got comments that said why are you running the cpu and i have to admit that uh, it is kind of a mistake of mine what i should have done is gone over to the gpu only the only hesitation I had about that was I was working in DAZ with just the GPU previously and what would happen is when working with render queue I could not get the GPU to just run each render. So it would render a couple of pictures and then it would stop because I guess it wanted to fall back on CPU and it couldn't. I guess there was several reasons why this could be happening, of course, but with my 4070 Ti Super GPU, it isn't a problem anymore. So I am going back and using GPU only. So I thought for this short video, I would just show everyone who doesn't know how to do this. It's very simple and it does make your computer run more smoothly. It's not going to heat up as much. It's quieter. And when you are rendering, it really does work. And I have tested repeatedly for the last several days if the GPU only will run on render queue. And with my GPU, my 4070 Ti, it is running just as well as it did with the CPU and the GPU. It's actually running better. So thanks everyone for making that comment. And I love listening to you. I learn just as much from you guys as you learn from me. And so I really appreciate that. Okay, so let's get into this simple thing. Go to your render settings. And when you go to your render settings, you usually get this, which is the... Uh, presets and editor and this is where you can set up like sun and sky and scene only and that kind of thing what you need to do is go to hardware and when you go to hardware you'll notice that you'll have devices under photo real mode interactive biased mode and then scheduling and if you notice my cpu and my gpu are both selected so all i'm going to do is unselect my CPU in both of these and what I have done recently is I've just left it says allow CPU fallback I allowed that to be enabled and then that's it that's all you have to do now with the configuration the way that I want it I'm just gonna save my scene and now when I render it should not be using the CPU all right, so let's run a render. I've got Milica set up here in her backyard. So I'm gonna pop up the uh, task manager and we're gonna see how well my computer is performing with the CPU turned off in Daz Studio. Remember, I do have a few other programs running. I have OBS running and uh, pointer thingy that makes my cursor highlighted, but that shouldn't affect the render too much. So let's try this. I'm just gonna hit render pop up our task manager and see what happens. All right, as you can see, we get an initial CPU spike, but then uh, the GPU is kicking on and it is taking over the render. My CPU is only running at uh, 15 to 20% as this render takes place. So huge difference. My GPU is running at 58 degrees Celsius. 
the CPU doesn't give its temperature for some reason, but you can see it's just barely running. My GPU is kicked on and is totally taking over this render. So that is how you turn off your CPU. And I've got to admit, it's working great for me and I'm getting render after render, no problem. Millic is looking as cute as ever and I can't be more happier with the performance of DAS Studio and my computer. So you can see that the uh, render is over now. That was almost real time. So just a few minutes, a couple minutes to get that render done. So I'm going to save this as my thumbnail and don't forget to like, subscribe and give me a comment or two. A lot of my video ideas are from what you talk about in the comment section. So I want to say thank you for that. Gives me a lot of ideas, gets me making more videos. So thank you. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and happy rendering.